I only I only called that a bad experience because a lot of people were angry with a lot of people, and it you know, at that point in time where it just it, it kind of like spiraled out of control. Right. And so I was just like, this has nothing to do with me. So yeah, I would just be like, I'm out. But we had gotta unload all the shit. Right. <laughs> it was it's one of those situations that you get thrown into that eh, fucking suck. Yeah. I guess. You just got to deal with it. You know, it's like, oh, okay. Anyway, the only other um, real situation or, or, or bad moving uh, situation, I'll say, was... When actually, you had, I don't When wanna... you had to move things down three stories? <laughs> well, no, I came up, I came up with a solution for that one. <laughs> Open up the window and start chucking shit out, man. Yeah. Fuck it. You can't tell me that that wasn't genius. Do you know how much time that saved? Did, what, what was, were you just throwing cushions out? I don't remember. I was throwing everything that wouldn't break out. Right, yeah, I got you. Um. Everything that wouldn't break. The, the next time was that a should teach you to you know not fucking ever ever live on a fucking even on the first story. That if was, I gotta go up, if I gotta go upstairs, I'm pissed. Well, I I generally speaking learned my lesson on that in the first place because if you ever lived on the third story of something like you gotta carry every time you go to the grocery store every any any well anytime you gotta carry anything at all. You gotta go up three stories with this yep. thing. That's fair. I agree. You know? Yeah. And on top of that, even if you just come home from work, fuck, now I gotta walk up three flights of steps. Right? Just to get home. You know? Son of a bitch. And then, uh, I mean, and then when you get to work, I mean, not that it's going down the stairs is too much. Now we're, now, now I'll probably come off lazy as fuck. But <laughs> now you gotta go down three stories, right? You go three stories down to your car to go to work. You forget something. Fuck! You gotta go three stories back up. Fuck! Yeah, yeah. I never even thought about that. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Have, how? Okay. How many times did you walk downstairs and be like, "Where are my keys?" I I normally have my keys. My keys are generally not a problem for me. Um, I don't I, know. You, you're terrible with losing shit. Right. I mean. Keep keeping stuff, but but when I when I when I leave the house, first of all, you have to lock the door to the house with a key do for the most part. I mean th that place you did, okay. and my current house you do now. Okay. You have to have Fair the enough. key to lock the door, and then I always have like a D ring, so I can just hook it to my hook it to a my pants. ring. It's a D ring. A D ring. Is it a D ring? Is, is it called Prince Albert? No. Oh. Well, I'm not talking about cock rings. I'm talking about a D ring that you use for like climbing. This is basically. I, I, well, a climbing I'm ring. fairly certain that that is, uh, you know, actually called a carabiner. Okay. I somewhere along the line I heard it was called a D ring, but it it also might be also called a carabiner. But they're generally in the shape of a D. I've heard people call them D rings before. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> There you go. You heard her first. If you climb a mountain, you love the D ring. <laughs> Gotta have as much D's as you can when you're climbing mountains. You know what I mean? As many D's as you can handle. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> have you ever? Uh, okay, have you ever been involved with any ugly move out scenarios? I mean, they're all ugly. No, I mean, like, you know, maybe uh, two significant others broke up and they were living together and they needed to separate. I, I have not been involved with anything. Like you that haven't? Before, no. You sure? I remember. I mean, I, let's be honest. Maybe, I, have, maybe, I have a shitty memory. Okay. Have you, uh, well, what about like a, a family, a family, uh, you know, a family situation that were living together that needed to separate? 
Are, are you are you trying to t- like remind me of something? I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember if you were there or not. I mean, I can't specifically remember two people arguing about stuff when you're moving out. I don't. Well, I mean, it, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't arguing, but it was like just totally awkward. I mean, I've been it was in a, really awkward. I've been in a lot of awkward situations, but not one that I can remember about moving. Okay. So let's yeah. you, if you want to talk about that one, we can talk about it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know how much I want to get into it. I mean, you don't have to use names or anything. Yeah, but I mean, they'll probably know who we're talking about. I mean, they, first of all, it's their fault they put you in that situation. It's not your fault that you were in that situation. That's, they yeah, put you there. I, I mean, I kind of do agree with that. All right, okay, yeah, now I feel better about it. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Yes, okay, so there was a situation where, you know, some people who were living together, who were related in a sense, were who, you know... It was basically that the, the the relationship or or thereof is completed. Yeah, completed or done. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it got to, I mean, yeah. to 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 the some extent. But right. were they arguing about uh, specific items? Oh, I mean, it all. I I I mean, money was always a, a thing. I mean, right. they, you know, I mean, that's that's what led to the. Separate, separation of right. mindsets and everything. That, 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 so, that, so I think forth. that's a lot of relationships nowadays. Yeah, but e- either way, you know, they're like, you know, oh, just come help me move my stuff out of here. And I'm just like, I don't want to do it. Yeah, you know, and that's that's the one time. That's the one time I actually almost refused a friend. Right. Because I really, I just really didn't want. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to deal with it. But you know, at the same point in time, it's like, fuck it. All right, whatever. Let's, so. I think I think a lot of time, like if if I could advise people that were uh, that are like breaking up or having uh, the end of a relationship type thing and they're moving out, if I could advise them on that, I would I would say to have the property separated before um, you ha- you ask people to help you move. Um, that way. That way, it just goes smoother. There's well, no yeah, I mean, I, luckily in this pain. situation, that kind of was already done. Okay. So. Okay. I got you. I will say that. That's the, the only thing. But it's still, at the same point in time, it was just always like... You know, especially when, you know, you, you're in the same, you know, circles and kind of friends with both parties. Right. That kind of just made it worse. Right. For me, anyway. <laughs> 